It's really blowing outside, like a lot of wind today. <clears throat> Picking an opportunity to find a leak. <clears throat> I can't do all the back wall right now, but I could probably put it together. I got the doors done down here. They're now half the size they were. Uh, Two thirds and it's level with the top of it. I got sealed in there. Um, we're gonna work on this area today, I think. Um, I have ordered my refrigerator. Uh, it will be here at the end of, it won't be here. It'll be in the city at the end of the week because they don't have it in stock. It's a little bit bigger than the traditional uh, one I had in the bus. It's going to go over here in this area and because my air conditioner sticks out so far um it actually i'm gonna have a dead space over here which is fine because i can put anything vertical long that needs storage in there i need up it straight up and down that needs to be inside and so i gotta measure this out if this is gonna get moved over slightly we'll have a cooking slash work area on this side of the sink and we'll have a spot just to set stuff on this side of the seat with spikes rack and everything else just so when we open the fridge we have a place to put it and yeah we're gonna get this built i think um i have the floor in and it took me i went to the city yesterday and it took me all day just to find it and it's noisy wind but i have my floor it's a uh, sheet vinyl uh, what we're gonna do, well, we'll talk about that when we actually finally get the sheet violin and how it's gonna be installed and how it's gonna be laid out and everything else there. But that being said, that I got a kitchen layout figured out. I can finally place that thing. I think I know how I'm gonna lay that one out. And I'm gonna have a cow trough bathtub in here somewhere. I am hoping, there's no guarantee. You know, today and tomorrow is supposed to be really nice, and then we're supposed to get another, like, 30 or 28 degree day after that and snow. So what I'm hoping to do, it's too windy to be outside working, but... Uh, there's a couple things that need to happen. Uh, the floor, before the floor, I gotta get cleaned up in here, and some other stuff. But I think I'm going to go ahead and start building on that. We will see about doing the back wall now. There's, um couple welds where this thing's supposed to be held open I have some door holds on it that need to be held open and I have I have these things so I have oh I almost fell oh gosh it's all right I'm just horrible at that I have these things this is gonna be on my extra door and that's gonna go kind of like right there And you get some more insulation for it. You can see right through that door right there. But it's going to stick up through this and down through this one. I got to screw that in and attach it. And then this one will have a regular door latch on I think. Like the bus did. That way I can open and close it anytime wherever I'm at. Anyhow. So there's that. Um. Hopefully by the time you guys are seeing, hopefully by the time you all are seeing this video, I will be traveling. Um, oh, I'm a little stuck right now. This stuff's gotten ridiculous expensive. I mean, ridiculous. There's no reason it should cost as much as it does, but it does. That being said, I got everything that's the most expensive stuff bought, and I just gotta install it. Um, I am waiting on some parts for the back, uh, my marker light went out on me, I'm waiting on a, another marker light for it and it keeps shorting out. I still have to, at this point, install the brake lights, turn signals, and, uh, HAG, which I'm gonna go ahead and mark it out and get it installed. It's not painted back there, I was hoping to have it painted back there, but it'd be nice to have the holes pre-drilled. I gotta fix a leak. I have a leak on my water system yet again. Actually, I know where it is. It's apparently how I did the hose clamps and put them back on. I have my solar charge controller, which will have to be installed. Actually, I'll probably install it tonight or tomorrow. 
and I still need to put the solar panels on the roof but it's too windy today it's either too windy too cold or rushing trying to get other stuff done but um, I want to move in here I'm ready to be in my own space and be back into the living thing even though it's not done I'm ready to be in my own space of the air but yeah I'm sure she's happy to have me gone too so I'm gonna push towards getting me moved in here and whatever else I had to get done uh, mainly I'm, I'm my chair is uncomfortable I want to sit in here and zone out and look out the door and enjoy my view which I have a nice good imagination that I can imagine that so that's gonna happen soon and I need to I need to clean up in here so I can run all my other lines. The bathroom in here is very much needed and necessity. Sorry, I'm, I'm moving stuff around. That's my urine catch for the bathroom, which is coming up soon. Um, yeah, this is too long on this project. This is way longer than I expected it to take. And most of it comes down to waiting on weather, um, being physically able to, not feeling well or tired, exhausted. I've been feeling exhausted a lot lately. Not lately, but last year. And then the weather, and I was doing a lot of outside welding outside with the TIG and too windy, it blows away your shielding gas and everything really bites after that. Um, yeah. The good news is we're close, and I, I don't want to say the date that I expect or how long from now because I've already done that twice and I've failed at it and you all probably think I'm just pulling your legs but it is what it is. Prices are through the roof as far as gas prices right now. I can't believe what the prices are. They're like three fifty here or three thirty here. I don't even know what they are out there. Fuel, diesel, whatever. And it's like this is ridiculous. Anyhow, I want to get lights, power, I want to get all my um, kitchen area done. We'll do the lights later, or the brake lights later and all that. But we can go ahead and get the kitchen area done. Uh, set up for a workspace slash hangout space in the front part of it, kind of the middle area. Uh, once we have the kitchen and we know the refrigerator we're getting, we can go ahead and measure that out and get that area prepped and measured and squared off. Which involves getting the back wall done. I got my little sucker things from the attic area up here to suck the heat out. And so I can start on that. Um, this, and I need to run the wiring, the rest of the wiring. And that involves with cleaning the floor. And uh, the water system hasn't been tested because it's been too cold. So that's the other thing. So I got to run the drain. And to do that and test that, I need to have the sink hooked up and everything in there. So I'm burnt out. That's probably the reason I'm taking so long. And and this is just me ranting. I am ditching my editing software and going to a free editing software. Um, the other reason I stopped doing 360 is um, Adobe costs too much. I'm pretty sure I did a rant about this a while back. And I'm just frustrated and tired. I'm a little depressed because I was hoping to be out there this last winter and it's everyone's I miss the schooly blues and I think everyone's already going to be going home for it. If I can not drop the mystery tape. I gotta look up the dimensions on that so I'll bring you all back in. Oh hey, the good news. The good news is I found it. I found my three thing, my third arm for holding you all up it apparently fell down into that hole there and because it's so dark down there I could not see it so yay good for us um, also uh, by doing the shelves and everything you can get some of this stuff off the uh, floor and get more organization in here which will bring down my stress level a lot and yeah we'll move forward on that so.
back wall up with access in it. I gotta still trim it out and finish attaching it in certain little spots. Also have access to my backup lights or marker lights up there. So I can access the back of it. I'll have to build me a little cover over it. Now I got a frame around the air conditioner, but at least this way I'll be able to pull out the air conditioner in the future if I need to. Um, I still got to do this side, which I'm working on. And I'm going to bring in the refrigerator in tonight, so it's at least in out of the weather if it's going to get cold tonight, like they say it is. Which they've been pretty accurate so far. And also probably in here I am working on the toilet here. Try to get that done. Um, I'm pretty sure this whole project's going to all end at like the same time. All these old projects will get finished up pretty much the same time. The floor will be in here soon. Um, sorry, holding it all separate, looking different direction. I don't know about the 360. Uh, maybe I gave up on it too soon. I've seen my second 360 commercial ever. Um, we might just revisit 360 later on at a later time. Uh, when we have more time, or just make travel content, 360 and anything else not. Which probably the latter is going to be better for a forward. But uh, I'm going to get this wall on the right side cut out and kind of generally framed in because it would be really nice to have that insulation in there, especially if it's supposed to get down to 10 degrees in the next 24 hours. Maybe I'll throw some in the wall. Boy, that would make this nice. I have a couple more leaks I gotta fix on my water system and then I can pick that up where it will run as a primary heat source for this. Um, I got plumbed into the chassis uh, fuel system the other day, which I'm pretty sure I said something about it, it's just I've been sidetracked with everything else. And hopefully, hopefully by the time you see this, I need it. Hopefully by the time you see this, I'll be traveling down the road. I keep hoping, but uh, I'm pretty sure, because uh, I'm pretty sure this will come out in about a couple weeks from now. It's usually where I've been running. I just got, I just got hit in the gut by a f piece of saw from the table saw, not saw, a piece of wood that got caught by the blade and just thrown my direction. Sucks. It hurts. It is what it is. But uh, it's the floor is getting clean. Very nice to feel the clean. This is probably where I'm going to put the refrigerator. And then once I have the floor kind of cleaned up, I'll start running some more AC lines over here to the breaker box. Get the breaker box hooked up and everything tied in there. And the fresh air intakes over here kind of isolated off from the rest of it with a shut off on it. And then I'm going to tie that into another blower underneath the thing so I can circulate air in the whole rig. But, uh, it, I think it's coming along nicely. I just need to keep working at it and getting it done. And, oh man, if I get the toilet done, you want to talk about I'll probably move out of here if I have the toilet done. Um, and then I'm going to start working on the water system too. Toilet and water system. I get the water system, which is all it is. It's plumbing, but plumbing is a pain in the butt. But once we got that in there and everything kind of tied down and Drivable. There's, uh, yeah, we're getting close. And I know I said I'm only two weeks away, but technically I am only two weeks of solid work away. It's just between the cold weather here, I have trouble doing some of this stuff during the cold weather because I need to do paint. And I need to do paint outside. I'm going to try to do paint inside once I get some more of this done and opened up in here, but I still have to go out to cut stuff. But, uh, yeah, we're close. There's a lot of finish, a lot, a lot of finishing up, so there's that, too. And today I've been fighting a headache. Headache from all the allergens in the air because springtime in Oklahoma sucks. Actually, a lot of times, a lot of times in Oklahoma, there's a nice cold days, warm day, cold day, warm day, winter times is cold day, cold day, cold day, when I say cold day, the cold day, you know, and you're, you're fighting the weather here, so, anyhow, I'm gonna see about getting this other side cut out and go from there, and I'll see about getting everything cut out that I can get cut out so you can get the 
bucket toilet up and going. You're in diverting bucket toilet up and going and all that. I was going to divide it into a separate video. Maybe I will. This will be in a separate video. And you'll watch that with all that. And yeah. Getting that wall helped a lot. Getting this other wall will help a lot more. So I just gotta leave room for accesses so I can access some of my wiring that has to go out the back that needs to be connected in here. Which will help for future uh, projects too. Because I can just drop a cover over it and still have the insulation in here for most of it. Yeah, it's gonna look good. I think it's gonna look good and I can paint once it gets warm in here. I'm uh, I think I'm gonna haul out Erin and see if she can help me get that uh, thing in here. And I gotta, I gotta reinforce these uh, drop downs here because if you put your whole weight on them, you'll fall through. So, and I reinforced them over there, and it worked very well. So I'm gonna try to reinforce it on this side and see if I can get it everything to support well. And I don't have to replace that. Otherwise, I have to replace it like I did all the other four. Should have stuck with my original plan. Anyhow, that's where I am at. And the, the refrigerator weighs 97 pounds. Also need to strengthen it up because this kind of drops here a little bit. So I need to add some support in here. And here and there. But we'll get there. Let's try this again. This is going to be my light bar. I really like an indirect light. I like not seeing what's where the lights come from. I like this to be glowy. And I found that in the bus, the little light strip worked great on wood, but it got hot and it turned yellow really fast because I think it overheated. So I have a piece of one by one aluminum cut in half, and this is going to be what is going to be on the roof. But I gotta stick the light to this. And this is a Cobb LED. New design. So it's supposed to be more light, even light, over a long period. We're going to attach it right along here. Here's the end, which I'll have to cut that and wire it in. But this is going to go above the dinette. A dinette. Uh, the kitchen area, the cook more or less area. Make sure there's no, oh no, I guess we're going with it. Yeah, it's covered on the back side. I just want to make sure it's covered on the back side. And I'm hoping that the aluminum that this is on will act as a heat dissipation, removing heat from the LED and making it last longer. I Pretty sure that will work that way. And the way I'm going to have it mounted, it should give me a nice area of light with non direct light and solid color. Solid yellow. It's a little bit yellow, yellow more yellow than I'd like, but there's enough room I could drop me another little uber white LED in here and make it like not soft or yellow light, more of a white light. But I can always accent there too. And there we go, we got one light strip on. It's going to go up on the ceiling here, and we're going to attach it with these holes we drilled. And yeah, hopefully that will make a very good light, and we can stop using the power light. Um. Hello everyone. Um, we are doing the solar panel today. Uh, right now, power on this, so it's been charging for most of the day. Anyhow, I'm taking a break right now because the whole ray fell on my head earlier and my hand. Case in point. Maybe you can see it on the It's a little sharp underneath there. I kind of hurt right now, so I've been sitting here thinking how I can secure it better. I only had a. Well, it's my fault. I had a little. A little piece of 
plywood supporting the whole array. It was a really crappy design, and I noticed it's bowing whenever I set the second set up on there. But before I could get up and adjust it, it snapped under its own weight, and it all, the whole thing came crashing down. Good news is we're on the last set of panels. Um, because I don't have that, um, because I don't have the linear actuator on it anymore, I don't have a way to really lift it up manually, so I was trying to figure out a way. Uh, for right now, the whole array is not going to be automatically tilting. Uh, we may visit in the future. But I am going to... Ah, everything hurts now. I, uh, had my phone going on in the background, and... It was stuck way underneath there. I was kind of stuck under the panels for a little while. It sucked. <laughs> but we're out now. No one knows. Except for now, they know. Anyhow, I have these. These were in the ambulance compartment. I hope you all can see that. Yeah, that's right enough. These were all in the ambulance compartment. I'm going to drill some holes in them and use them as a support to help hold it up. That was it. That way I don't have to do a bunch of fabrication to get them up. It really sucks when you get something to smack you on the head really hard like that. Let's go upstairs. There, now you can see a little more. Um, I almost have all the panels up. I got one more set that I have to screw and attach up there, and then I gotta hook it up, and I'll pull all the hookup lines up here, and then we'll latch it down, and we'll mess with hooking it up later. There is actually enough room to add another three more panels, and the way I have it wired, because I have two in a row, I can only add a thousand watts to the ch the system here, and I can add uh, 200 watts to the chassis system. Which, if I decide that's what needed to be done, that's what will be done. Anyhow, um, I really don't think you uh, you all are going to be able to see too much with this, so I'm going to stop it there, and I'll bring you all you know, I'll bring you all back in the morning. <sighs> All right, panels are up. It got cold fast out there, and aluminum always seems to suck the heat right out of you. That's why I isolated the walls as much as I could from the inside, because it will suck the heat right out of it. Anyhow, uh, show you this. This is the color samples. I'm leaning towards the beige or the light white, and the one all the way on the right there, the blue. I like that. I don't know. I think I'm going to put the blue on the walls and the whites on the ceiling. No, I should get the samples out and try the samples again. Oh, wow, that was cold. And I'm going to work on that area, getting it painted first. And I don't know which color I'm going to use. Although the purple does go okay with it. Not great. Yeah, I got most of it primed. The uh, I got the stand for the refrigerator. I'm just working on the tie downs for it. There's a really simple way to tie these fridge downs. You just run a little one of those one of these. Light duty deed rings, you can get them at Lowe's, they're really cheap, they're like 4 or $5. Run a couple through bolts through the floor and then tie a strap to it. Preferably a black strap, but I don't have one right now, and they didn't have one that I wanted to pay $50 for. And you just strap it over the top of it and cramp it down real tight. And that will hold your fridge for the most part. I'm going to see if there's some holes in the top to tie it to the back, but that will hold it down. Then I'll have some way to hold it back and you can still access the inside of the fridge. And then... Lowe's don't have them, but Home Depot has them. They're called child safety latches, and they're a stick-on device that latches, and you put that on the door, and it holds the doors closed while you're going down the road. Which, when I was at Home Depot, I forgot to get them last time I picked up the fridge. Anyhow, um, my goal for tonight is to get this area painted, primed, painted, and get the latches down for tying the refrigerator. I'm going to move that one back or put another one farther back so I have a cross strap on it. And um, 
And then I'm going to paint this, uh, that color right there with my itty bitty sample paint. If I can paint the whole back of it, I want it to look good behind there. And then we're going to, um, maybe tomorrow get Aaron to help. We'll try to do it tonight, but I don't know if I have the strength to move that refrigerator. It is 100 pounds. That's as much as my solar deck is on the roof. That's how much fell on my head last night. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah, I, I, I had a small boo-boo last night. I think I told you about it. My hand still hurts, but uh, yeah. And it's really moist in here because I painted a water-based paint, so it puts a lot of moisture as it dries out. So I'm sweating a little bit, but uh, I used the kills for wet location in here on the ceiling. And it's supposed to be milled and mold and mildew resistant. Ah, uh, God, I can't talk tonight. Um, it's supposed to be mold and mildew resistant. And yeah, you know, as soon as I get that this area done, and the fridge over here, I can start covering some of this up. And I need to run some 110 wires over here. And normally I'd run it into the wall. However, just because of the way the wall is laid out and with screws and everything, I couldn't run it that way. So I'm going to have to do uh, two ex uh, two outside ones. I want to isolate them because of the this thing here. I want to have that on its own circuit so I can control it from up there if I need to. Or just kill the breaker altogether on it. And then, because even though you have a battery and it's supposed to be off, it can still pull power. Maybe not that much. I really liked it. I tested it earlier when... Uh, um, Oh, David was here earlier, um, neighbor down the street. Subscriber, hi David. Um, we tested it earlier today and it, it blows all the way to the bedroom, which is good, and it puts out cold air and it's quiet, like dead quiet. It's like, holy cow. Right now, the noisiest thing in here is my inverter, which you can only hear it when everything else is shut down. So it's going to be very quiet in here, very peaceful and very nice. Um, yeah. So, let me set you all up on a time lapse. Maybe you all can watch. Problem is, um, I need to actually come in here and cut out the inserts, the piece of wood that's going to go in here in the 90 degree angle. I'm going to put on that to frame it out. I left this open so if I ever had to get in there to uh, replace the glass or the window, I could uh, take it out, basically and hopefully replace it with the exact same model that's there or have a custom one made uh, same thing with this i get a board in there to help support everything we're going to seal that one up too and it'll be framed out and all the windows will be framed out kind of in a similar pattern to a certain extent and this is this going to get some foam shoved in there and everything shoved in there once i'm done messing with that line down there which is the heater hose line We'll get that done too.
smells like rain. You see the lightning? We're just in this side of the storm. Let's see if you can see it. Oh, it just looks scuddy and nasty. We're gonna get hit by a pretty good thunderstorm here in a second. Oh yeah. It's already a lot closer than what it was. You can always tell right where the rain is by where the lightning hits. You can just see it come towards you. You get hit by a gust from it here soon. I'm going to clean up. Go hang out inside for this whole thing to come through. I'd like to get this all done. but pretty sure this is going to get nasty. Hopefully not, but I don't know. Everything kind of leads towards getting nasty. Throw my weight up here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that down real quick. Oh, this feels nasty now. Look at that. We may it may miss us. It may just go northeast, northeast, north, northeast, or east, east, north. We may get lucky and only get a quarter of it. That would be nice. Be very nice. I need to do this real quick. This is a bill that never ends. Uh, goes on and on, my friends. Someday I started building it, not knowing what it was. I just kept on building it just because I could. It's a bill that never ends. Okay, that's enough of that. It's been stuck in my head for a while. Ooh, there's a spider in here.